When you hear the word whale, what do you think of? Maybe the giant humpback whale or blue whale comes to mind, or the black and white orca, or even Moby Dick. Whatever picture you associate with whales, it probably doesn't look much like members of the group of ancient whales known as archaeocetes. The word archaeocete literally means ancient whale. Archaeocetes are known only from the Eocene epoch, which lasted roughly from 56 to 34 million years ago. The informal grouping includes a number of different whales, including the four-legged Ambulocetus, known as the walking whale, the 41 million year old George Acetus, which is mounted in the Hall of Natural History, and the very long whale Basilosaurus, a whale that could reach 65 feet or more in length that had a very small head, a very tiny pelvis, and minuscule hind limbs. The tiny hind limbs, though not at all useful for locomotion, to the Basilosaurus shows us an evolutionary link between whales and the animals that live on land. The first known archaeocetes were discovered in Louisiana in the early 19th century. This specimen included a really long vertebrae, one bone of the vertebral column, and a partial lower jaw. Richard Harlan named this fossil Basilosaurus, meaning king lizard, because he thought the bones belonged to a really big marine reptile, something like a mosasaur. Turns out he was very wrong. The next person, another Richard, Richard Owen, who studied the bones recognized that they did in fact belong to a mammal. He then renamed the specimen Zuglodon satoides, which roughly means yoke tooth whale. Because Harlan named the animal first though, it is known as Basilosaurus to this day. A third paleontologist, Robert Gibbs, later combined the two names, and today we call the Basilosaurus from North America, Basilosaurus satoides. Since this first discovery, other species of Basilosaurus have been found in Egypt and Pakistan. Basilosaurus is so common in the Gulf Coastal Plain of the United States that it has been named a state fossil of both Mississippi and Alabama. It has also been found in the rock record of the Atlantic Coastal Plain, though it's much rarer here. In 2010, a new Basilosaurus specimen was discovered by employees of the Department of Natural Resources, Fisheries and Wildlife Division during a routine fish survey on the Flint River in Albany, Georgia. This specimen was right in the middle of downtown Albany. Upon discovery, the specimen included about seven feet of the bones from the lower back region, as well as additional bone fragments. Georgia Southern students and faculty worked hard to carefully remove the specimen from bedrock, a process that lasted multiple days over several trips. Before the excavation could be completed, however, the site was looted and most of the specimen was removed from the rock. All that remains of it now is part of one vertebra and a few additional bone fragments, which are housed in the paleontology collections of the Georgia Southern Museum. We may never know who took the fossil, why they did it, or even if it survived the looting, but one thing we do know is that it's been lost to science for good. Fortunately, the excavation team took many pictures and field notes, so a record of this discovery remains. If you want to learn more about our lost Basilosaurus, you can read about it in an article recently published in the Journal of Paleontology, which is linked to below. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit the museum in person to learn more about the evolution of whales.